Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon can't crack the code. Used to sip out stop report, but figured I should stick to drone. Alright, what's going on guys? This your boy G Famous92. Today I want to show you guys how to achieve 60 FPS on the new Logitech C922 for your X split. Now, this is not for OBS. Uh, this is only for X split. I will be doing a video for OBS, but not right now. I haven't tried this camera with OBS. I only use it for X split. Let's go ahead and open a couple of things. So what you want to do is, uh, if you don't have your webcam, uh, let me go ahead and, and click a new, like a, something new. Uh, that that's really weird. That's going to look weird. Anyways, guys, this is uh, let me let me delete this right here. We're going to just go ahead and uh, start fresh. OK, so guys, this is uh, just a plain image of my gaming computer. This is not the streaming computer. This is the gaming uh, computer. Uh, I use my X split on my streaming computer and to record gameplay from my gaming computer. So, uh, OK, so this is what you want to do uh, if you're using X split. You're going to come to add. You're going to go over here to uh, webcam, capture card, um, video device. And you want to pick the C922 Pro Stream Webcam. Um, I don't use this one down here because this is the, the one to use if you don't have a green screen already. I already have a green screen, so we're going to click on the C922 Pro Stream Webcam. I'm going to click that. This is going to add this right here. Um, as you can see, my webcam is already in 60 FPS. Uh, this is how it looks and everything. If you want to change anything, you can. Um, but I just want to let you guys know something before. So this is my webcam. What we're going to do is right click on the webcam. I'm going to bring this box over here because if you have it over your webcam, you're not going to be able to see anything. Um, chances are it's going to be use Logitech recommend settings. That's going to be tick. What you want to do is you want to tick the config uh, menu. Uh, make sure that's check or um, have a dot in the circle and you want to do this drop down menu first off you want to come to video output you want to uh, take your video output and you want to make sure that the video output is 1280 by 720 you want to make sure it's on mjpg as well and it has 60 fps you want to press apply and then okay now you see my webcam you know bug out right there that's what it's gonna do it's gonna bug out this webcam right here that's in the background that you guys see that is the old webcam that's the logitech c920 i got two of them and you know all together i got three webcams but anyways we're gonna go ahead and drop down this menu again and we're gonna go to video input now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take that video input and you want to go over here to camera controls camera controls is really important because um, I'm going to say this one time and make sure you listen to this. If you don't have your exposure tick, you're not going to achieve 60 FPS. Let's see what happens when I take off exposure. So I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to uncheck this. You see how dark the camera gets. It gets really laggy as well. Over here, you see at the bottom, 30 FPS. It dropped down to 30 FPS. I don't know why. Watch. I'm going to mess with the exposure. Look at the uh, FPS. So I'm messing with the exposure. The FPS fixed itself when I went to a, like a brighter, uh, you know, when I clicked it uh, up. Because the more light you have for your camera, uh, it can do 60 FPS. If your camera is really dark, no 60 FPS, 30 FPS. If your camera is light, more light, more FPS. Put it that way. That's why I'm so like really white in uh, the webcam. I'm not really this color, just so many lights are shining on me. And you could just uh, like mess with the color and everything. Now, if you bump this up too much, you see that the webcam is lagging and everything. You don't want that, man. So uh, I think the best settings for this would be negative six. If you want to go ahead and um, fix the exposure like this. Now, you can see that my webcam is at 60 and it's bouncing around the 30, the 34, the 32, um, you know, FPS. It's not gonna, it's not gonna stay at a constant 60 FPS if you don't tick this. Also, when you first plug up your Logitech webcam, 
it's going to come with this low light compression. It's going to come with it on. So remember how I said if you have exposure checked, it will go 60 FPS. Watch this. So I'm going to check exposure again. And I'm going to have the low light compression on. Right now, my camera is at 30 FPS. Look. You can see it down here. 30 FPS. 29 FPS. 30 FPS. Now, the reason why this is happening is because we have the low light compression. Don't ask me. I'm not like, you know, the best camera guy or the webcam guy. I just learned this from like just messing with stuff. And uh, one of my friends said I need to make a video about this because there's a lot of people asking about this. So that's what I did or that's what I'm doing. And uh, what you want to do is you want to uncheck that low light compression. You want to uncheck that, bro. You don't need it. You don't need it. If your room dark, well, then you're you're going to have 30 FPS and you you have the low light compression stuff on. Um, if you are well lit area and everything, you got your 60 FPS. If you check the exposure and leave it to auto. Now, I took the focus off. You can leave the focus on if you want to. I like to have it off because if I get close to the camera or if I stay away from the camera, I want it to just be in focus anyway. So that's what I do. And uh, if you uh, look down here, the camera is back at 60 FPS. So we're going to go ahead and apply that. Now, over here, I left everything like default except the sharpness. I think the, uh, the sharpness of the webcam looked best at 170. Now, this is going to come at default at 128. I've noticed everything is coming default at 128. If you want to go ahead and mess with your brightness, your contrast, all of that, you can. I chose not to because it still looked very decent you know and you're not going to have this webcam like full screen anyway uh, at 720p it's not going to look good i mean chances are if you're using a webcam you're using it for your stream over there on youtube or you're using it for twitch either one and you're going to make your webcam smaller so it's going to look good either way um you can mess with everything else if you want to i uncheck all of this auto stuff i don't leave it on auto I just leave it like this. If you want to copy these settings, you can and see if they work for you. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how you get your webcam to work 60 FPS. If that uh, cleared up anything for you guys, make sure to hit me up with a like and share this to your friends that have this new Logitech C922. Um, I am doing an unboxing video. I already have the video. I just haven't rendered it yet. So that will be coming out later on. If this helped, remember, share it with your friends and hopefully it helped you out. And if it didn't, leave me a comment down below. Maybe I can help you out in other ways. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys later. I'm out here. Deuces.